hello and very warm welcome to yet another video tutorial hope you are doing great in today's video we are going to learn how to validate your ethics field and create an email validation in Swift 4 we are currently working on UI text field in our last video we learned how to create UI text field programmatically so you can check the playlist named as UI text field for those videos so let's start open up our Xcode project create a new Xcode project we will choose single view application template press next and here we say validations and email validation and language will be swift let's see it and, and we are going to save it here in uh, blog tutorials on our hard drive and we will press create Okay, so Xcode created us a default single view application template. Now let's design. We will put two UI text field. We are not going to create it programmatically so that you can learn it how to create using storyboard. So open up your view controller and name it and drag it uh, UI text field. We will add constraints like from top, we will put 200 and here we will have 20 and 20 from the right hand side that is leading is 20 and trailing is also 20 and we will give it a height of 50 and also we will change our color to yellow color it looks nice and second we will drag and drop another and for this we will press we will press control and drag and we will select here leading same to our first text field training and equal height and add constants so here we will also give it a vertical spacing and here it says a yellow sign that it should be we will update frames and here you can see we have two text field and here we will first put the placeholder text to email enter your email and here we will put password or let make it enter your password and here we will again uh, create a button and we will give it a vertical space here you can see that this is means you can change it so we, we are giving a vertical space to enter your password text field and it should be 44 and we will make it 20 from the right left hand side and 20 from the right hand side and we will also give a height of 30 to it and here let's say by position so we will give it a vertical constant vertical spacing here so here it says and let's make the background color default we will make it blue one and it's not looking nice let's increase the height to 70 so that it says a button and we will change the text color to white and we will change the text to submit or login and here one more thing we will drag and drop a label so that we can 
show the validation whatever it is and here we make it 20 20 uh, we will add constants so now we are done with our interface this is this is first text field and this is our text second text field and this is our button make it uh, 54 it's not looking nice so now we will open our view controller file here we have and just we will make it like this and here we will drag and drop or create our IB outlet so here we select new referencing outlet and this is our txt email and connect and here we gain second for our password and here we txt password so here and one more to our label that is validation message label and oh sorry and doing some and here lbl validation message and we connect here and one more we will create a function where we check all the things and here we will give touch up inside event and we will uh, login user and here so we are done with our IV outlets so now it's time to do some code and open up our view controller make it this so now it's look nice here you can see all the IB outlets created and a function that is name login user and we will make it like this so here if we run our app you will see the interface let's start our app So by the meantime if you not subscribe our channel then please subscribe so that you can get updated for our future video updates as we are coming from the beginners to the master levels so here our app gets launched and now you will see the interface we just created so here it goes so initially we will set our lbl validation message dot hidden because we don't want to allow user to see it first so here and here first we will check for an empty thing let email is equals to txt emails dot text and then we'll set guard we will use guard statement guard let email Oh, here we can say I'll just move this first and here. oh my dot here we will put that it should be not be and characters dot count should not be equals to zero if it's zero then it will go into else block and here we will say return from here and we will print lbl validation message dot text is equals to please enter your email so here we just enter the validation same we will create for our password and here we'll say password and here we'll say 
txt password and just shouldn't please please enter your password so now if we run our app you will say So now let's see. It's going here and so because our message is hidden that's why it's not coming lvl validation says dot is hidden that's why it's not coming is equals to false my mistake for that and here we also make it like this now if we run it now here please enter your email because email if i enter an email here like this and then i enter then it says please enter our password and if i enter then it's nothing and here we will hide our lvl validation message dot is hidden equals to true for that time being or whenever we make change and press enter then say let's see it's hidden true So here you say please enter your email I entered email and then you say please enter your password I enter my password and it's gone but now the email is not correct for this we will use a uh, regex and here I have a script for the same here let's copy it and we will place it here and here I will remove I make it function here it checks for the validate email and here you will say if the email is correct and then if is valid email and we will pass our email here is equals to false then we will print this please enter valid email address and here you go so this warning is this warning is given that we are not using passwords so just leave it for the time being and here let's see i press please enter your email i press test and it say please enter your password and here it says please enter a valid email address and the red testmail.com and you can see it's gone so here in this tutorial we learn how to validate UI text field the empty UI text field and email validation in Swift 4 if you like our tutorial then please thumbs up and the video and share the video and do subscribe our channel for the future updates and if you have any comments or any questions then please feel free to comment on this video and we will try to revert as soon as we can thanks for watching bye for now